Hi betting experts, and now we're going to have a look at five horses to follow throughout 2019 and also a horse for the Grand National in April. We start off top of the list, number one, Laylor. Now, Kayleigh Woolacott's cracking novice hurdle made a really impressive start over fences at Cheltenham in November, jumping and travelling really confidently under Richard Johnson and quicking, quickening clear and really taking style. He then really did not handle terrible conditions at Sandown when turned over at a short price next time out. You can forget that run. They think he needs better ground. He's the best horse in their yard. I think he's heading straight for the Arkle at the Cheltenham Festival in March and he's probably worth backing around about 8 or 10 to 1 at the moment. Number 2 on our list is Champ. Nicky Henderson's novice has been cleverly campaigned to preserve his handicap mark and he landed an almighty touch when making a winning handicap debut in Newbury at the end of this year. Uh, and he's expected to improve into a graded performer with more racing. He's basically a hard puller who remains very raw, and it was incredible that he managed to win at Newbury on soft ground, still reefing and tugging as he turned for home, but tanking into the lead and sustaining the run. That was a remarkable performance. He's been whacked up in the weights, but you'd expect that, and he's a really exciting prospect. I think he'll make a terrific chaser in time. Number three on our list is Beaksdown. Now, Dan Skelton has had a fantastic start to the season already. His horses are flying. He just needs a couple of really good Saturday horses to propel himself in with the nickels of this world. And he has got a really exciting prospect here. He's a great big chasing type who I saw make his race course debut at Kempton last season in a really strong bumper that's throwing out numerous winners all over the shop. And in two runs so far over hurdles, he's looked a terrific prospect, making all at your tox during a race that's working out really well. And last time at Newcastle, he upped in class. He wasn't seen to best effect in a slow run race, not ridden so positively, still rattling home and just touched off. There's loads more to come. Basically, he needs three miles and a fence, but he's very much one to keep on side of. Number four on our list is Santini. Now, this one was turned over at Kempton in a cracking race on Boxing Day, finishing third, but he was just tapped for pace on rapidly drying ground there, and I like the way he stuck to his task all the way up the straight behind the impressive winner. There's loads more to come. He needs softish ground, more of a galloping track, and a proper test of stamina. He's a shell of a horse. He's improving. He really impressed at Newbury on his chasing and seasonal debut when thought to be about 80% fit, and the second's come out and bolted out since. Basically, he's just the sort of horse to keep following as his stamina's drawn out, and he's very much one to look out for at either Cheltenham or maybe even Aintree in the spring. Number five on our list is a flat horse, too darn hot. John Gosden, unbeaten Dubawi Colt, improved run to one run in his juvenile campaign, completing a fantastic four-timer when landing the Group 1 Dewhurst at Newmarket in October. He's got loads of scope to improve. He's a derby entry, and that is reportedly his aim. And it has, he's just the sort to keep improving it as stamina becomes more at a premium. For the Grand National, we fancy Sue Smith's Vintage Clouds. Now, this one's is a real mudlark. Um, he's unexposed, granted an extreme test of stamina. He's a sound jumper. He keeps finding. Danny Cook gets on really well with him. He's 25 to 1 at the moment for the Grand National in April, and that looks a terrific price to put in your Christmas stocking. Best of luck betting experts.